All right, man, it's your boy Tony T. Now I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this Cool Edit Pro 2.1 mixing tutorial. This is going to make your vocals sound good. Ugh, I was stretching. I apologize. Anyway, yeah, this is going to make your vocals sound nice. First things first, you want to record, so I'm just going to go ahead and record something. Now, I'm just here recording something that I would like to uh, mix. You know what I'm saying? So here are these. See, look, I'm recording right now. That's sick, huh? Swag. You know what I'm saying? All right, now we have that recorded. Play it back. Now I'm just here recording something that I would like to uh, mix. You know what I'm saying? So here are these. See, look, I'm recording right now. That's sick, huh? Swag. And I see. So there's that. Now that you have everything recorded, well, hopefully you do. You're gonna go over here, click where it says switch to edit view, or you can just press F12. Bam. All right. Now you're gonna click. You're gonna select the vocals you want. So you're gonna click and drag. So I'm just gonna fucking have all of them. Now this is where the mixing begins. You guys ready? Let's go. You're gonna click on amplitude. Go to Amplify, Center Wave. Press OK and you're good. Go to Dynamics Processing, Vocal Comp, 81, negative 24, Fast Attack. Press OK. By the way, you want to go in this exact order. So, yeah. Then you're going to click on Reverb, Tighten Close. Take that where it says Perception. Take this one all the way to Smooth. Make it zero. Press OK. Then go ahead and exit there. And then go to Filters. FFT filter, scroll down, mastering heavy and wide. Make sure it's you change it to Gaussian. And make sure it's eighty one ninety four. Then press OK. Then you go to graphic equalizer. Go to sc scroll down till you find spit clear. Press OK. Then parametric equalizer, Mackie high boost. Make so you're gonna scroll down till it's find Mackie high boost. Then you're gonna mm, make sure it's that zero, and then okay. Oh, I forgot one. It's alright. It's a little one. You're gonna go to FFT filter again. You go to kill the mic rumble. Make sure it's Gaussian. It's okay. Um, I already did a parametric, didn't I? Yeah. So you're gonna go to after you do that, you're gonna go to noise reduction, hiss reduction. Press high hiss reduction. Press OK. Then go to normalize and make sure it says change it to seventy percent. Press OK. Then go to hard limiting. Make sure this one is negative 6.5. Boost input is 1. Look ahead times 7. Release times 100. Press OK. Damn, bam. Look at that. Mixed vocals. Look at this. Look at this. Now I'm just here recording something that I would like to uh, mix. You know what I'm saying? So here are these. Let me see, look, I'm recording right now. That's sick, huh? Swag. You know what I'm saying? You're done. Look at that. Look at that. Look how easy that was. Your vocals are mixed, bro. Alright, now that one that's now they're all mixed. You're gonna depending on your mic and depending on um your the like if you have a mixer or where your mic is plugged in, if it's in the inner bass or whatever, you're you're gonna always want to adjust the EQs and it's also depending on the song. So if you if you're in a song and you have the beat you know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and I'll show you. I'll you know, I might as well just explain it to you. Here's a beat right here. And I'll say you have your vocals and the beat, right? Here's the beat. This one's the beat. Beat. <laughs> and this is vocals. <laughs> so this is the beat. And sometimes when you're listening or when you're mixing, you're, you're, you can't hear your vocals a lot. And what that is is sometimes it's the EQ. The EQ on the beat is too loud and or the EQ on the vocals isn't too loud. So you're going to click over here. This is volume. You're going to click on EQ. And then it's like I said, it's depending on the beat. If it's hard to hear your vocals, first first thing you do, turn them up. 
but you don't want to turn them up too much because then they'll end up getting distorted and just fucked up. So if you turn them up to like, I'd say like six, and it's just like not working, and then you want to go to your your uh, the beat, and you're also you want to turn down the highs, turn down the mids, turn down the lows if you want, but just turn down the highs, mids, and lows a little, just a little bit, just like maybe two point five each. You know what I'm saying? But when you're doing when you're doing editing your vocals, this is what I do. Um, you're gonna put the low all the way up to like six point between six point five and seven. Anywhere between there is good. Mid, you're gonna wanna put up to like two point five. Yeah, two point five. Anywhere from two to two point five is cool. And the highs, what I do is cause my, my mixer, um, I turn the highs up on the mixer, but you know what I mean? Turn the highs down to probably about two. You know what I mean? And then, like I said, you can always fucking uh, turn up your vocals. It's not a problem. I mean, right here, the volume, turn that shit up. Now, I'm just here recording something that I would like to uh, See how, see how it sounds more live? You know what I'm saying? So here are these. See, look, I'm recording right now. That's sick, huh? Swag. See, what it does is it sounds more like lie like you're pushing more out yeah you know i mean when you're uh like especially with the lows especially with my voice how it's low right now um when you're speaking the lows it's just coming out well you know what i mean so basically there's all your mixing y you have your vocals done that's the mixing do what you got to do handle business tony t sick of me and t swag studios and we out bitch yeah